do not work on the pack alone. Please wear protective gloves and safety glasses when attaching the power cables to avoid electrical shocks or burns should an accident occur. Power cables should be made of flexible copper, either multi-stranded welding cable or layered bus bar straps with an intentional bend. This allows for flexibility during vibration and reduces stress put on the battery terminals. Solid bus bars should only be used in stationary applications. When connecting the batteries on higher voltage systems, minimize the voltage handling risk by connecting the power cables in each half, leaving the midpoint connection until last. The user may use this center location for a manual isolator switch or fuse, or simply connect the final power cable. For increased capacity systems with a second string of modules, for example with eight modules, the IDs must follow in sequence. 5, 6, 7, 8. Caution! Do not connect the strings together until the final step and ensure string voltages are checked as equal. Otherwise, arcing and high current discharge could occur. Now fit the parallel connection links one at a time. The dual terminal design on 24 XP series allows easy parallel connection points. The external connection with main power cables must be offset allowing string resistance matching. The external and parallel cable links may need to be a larger diameter than those used within each string to provide higher system current capability. Once the power cables are secure, starting with a BMS, connect each battery's communications cable to each other. It is recommended to keep the communication cables away from running parallel to the high current cables to reduce the chance of induced noise. Extension data cables are available for instances when the data cables are too short to connect battery strings. Finally, attach the battery termination resistor on the last battery's communications cable. The battery's ID sequence in single series string or single parallel doesn't matter, but in a combined series and a parallel system, each string must contain the next multiples of IDs. The BMS expects the IDs to be in these groups and will compare currents in each string and calculate the overall system current based on the currents per string.